okay having built the concepts for um, design aspects we'll now start the designing problem we'll particularly start with the first order plant so as discussed plants are usually or the model for plants are usually pre, uh, pre specified and we don't have control over that what we can design are the controllers and suppose we'll start with the first order plant so this could be of the form 1 by point 1 is so one practical example could be mapped from velocity to force or um, omega to um, talk so now we need to um, design the controller so consider the map the con uh, the mapping of the controller to be lcc od and hence a general um, uh, in the uh, s domain the transfer function can be can be represented in this form um, since we had seen that lcc od is we can directly uh, write the transfer functions in terms of a numerator polynomial upon denominator polynomial so now the design aspect has two main categories which we had discussed first nominal stability and performance and second is the uh, robust stability and performance so we'll start with nominal stability and performance so nominal stability is to make sure that uh, each map is bible stable and we saw that that was done to making sure three maps are bible stable now the nominal performance requirements is to make sure that the map uh, meets certain specifications and in this condition we have four parts which can be divided into two groups so first is the time domain conditions and second is the frequency domain conditions so in time domain we require the step response to for the two percent settling time to be less than one second we want rise time to be less than 0.25 seconds we require in the frequency um, characteristic we want the bandwidth to be greater greater than one hertz so bandwidth in um, general sense is defined at the cutoff frequencies and we require the m peak to be less than 3 db so bandwidth was required greater than 1 hertz and m peak is le desired less than 3 db so m peaks is um, in the frequency domain presentation that is in the body plot the deviation of the maximum value from 0 db level so that is called the m peak so uh, we'll see this aspect and we'll start the um, designing of the controller so we'll first consider constant case so that is the k of s is the constant we plug in the values of p of s k of s in the map and we see that uh, the final form is this now this is similar to the first order um, transfer function which we had seen we had also seen that for the bible stability of this uh, this mapping we require t greater than 0 so hence that boils down to 1 by 10 c greater than 0 hence we uh, the for nominal stability aspect we require c greater than 0 again we had seen that the 4 uh, 2 percent settling time for first order corresponding corresponded to 4 times t so in this case that would be 4 times 1 by 10 c and given that should be less than 1 second we have uh, inequality for c so this is just an example um, again bandwidth as described that is omega n greater than 1 hertz so omega n is in radian per second so converting this into radian per second so 10 c greater than omega n um, is 1 by t and 1 by 1 by 10 c so omega n is 10 c greater than 2 pi so again we have inequality but now um, the uh, second condition that is the rise time we saw that for um, first order system the step response was of the form 1 minus e to the power minus t by t us of t so we see that the plot would not reach 1 or would reach 1 at infinity so it is not possible to bound the rise time by 0.25 since the rise time in our case is infinity hence the first iteration has failed so we'll go to the second iteration now a general form for the second iteration is given as such so z1 is the uh, um, 0 and P1 represents the pole for K of S. So again, we substitute in the map P, o, P of S and K of S, and we get to this final form, which is of this form. Now, equating the constant, so we have minus P1 plus 10 C equal to 2 zeta omega n, and minus 10 C Z1 equal to omega n square. Again, we had seen that for second order system, uh, what we did for first order, we had 1 by zeta omega n for uh, second order system. So again, similar to that 4 times 1 by zeta omega n should be less than 1 now here uh, the number of variables are um, stated and now we have to make certain guesses to start 
the design aspect so we had also seen that the choice of zeta between 0.6 to 0.7 um, does a good job in terms of step response having low overshoots and uh, rise time settling time so we'll start start with omega uh, we'll start with z zeta equal to 0.6 now the settling time condition suggests that omega n should be greater than 4 by 0.6 so again we'll choose um, some value for example we'll choose omega n equal to 10 now we'll have uh, this equation minus p1 plus 10 is equal to 2 zeta omega n. so we have chosen zeta we have chosen omega n now we have two variables so we'll again set p1 equal to 0 so this is a random choice and we'll uh, in further cases we'll uh, see the variations so we'll we have these choices zeta equal to 0.6 we uh, omega n equal to 10 which satisfy the settling time condition we have this equation and we have set p1 to 0 so we have c1 now now we have c1 we had chosen p1 now we need to get z1 which we get from this equation since we know c we know omega n so z1 can be calculated as minus 100 by 12 now we have the plant we have the controller so we substitute and see the um, results in terms of bode plot and step response now we see that our mathematics which we had uh, followed so the settling time follows the uh, condition um, we see that bandwidth satisfy the condition since we had chosen omega n equal to 10 which is greater than 2 pi so we see that the um, rise time is also less than 0.2 which is less than 0.25 so that is satisfied we see that the m peak that is the maximum deviation in the frequency domain representation maximum deviation from 0 db so we see that that is approximately 2.6 db so that is less than um, 3 db which was specified so that is um, fine uh, so in general this is a good solution but we see that in step response the time domain representation the overshoots are more significantly high hence we would now work to uh, decrease the overshoots and hence vary certain parameters so first uh, natural choice could be to increase zeta since we had seen that 0.7 does a better job in terms of overshoot as compared to 0.6 so our first choice is zeta equal to um, another choice could be zeta equal to 0.7 and um, again for choice of zeta equal to 0.7 we using this inequality we need to choose an omega n so again we choose omega n equal to 7 7 this time and set p1 equal to 0 so we get c now we uh, see that omega and the chosen omega n shall be greater than 2 pi that is 6.28 so that is satisfied um, settling time has been satisfied and now we plug in to get z1 so now we have the controller and we plot again the step response and border plots so we see that there has not been much uh, improvement in the uh, overshoots so the bandwidth has decreased this is because omega n has decreased we have chosen omega n to be lesser um, this at, uh, the rise time has increased so this is because um, we had increased uh, so i'll pull up the um, reference to that so rise time uh, we had seen so this is for a general second order but we can have some um, idea about how rise time behaves so we see that uh, we had decreased omega n so omega day is omega n 1 minus zeta square so we had decreased um, omega n hence the time uh, the rise time has um, increased so we had also uh, increased the value of zeta so that decreases the denominator and also increases the rise time so overall both the choices has led to our increase in rise time but the uh, the choice that that the our objective of uh, decreasing the overshoot has still not met so first now we'll focus on the decreasing of the overshoots and then we'll care about the settling time so now to further um, to further decrease the overshoot we'll now increase we'll uh, see a an a result from here that the overshoots are also affected by the b1 constant so 
a larger b1 would imply the overshoots to be greater so b1 that is 10c so in the previous cases we had considered um, for this case we had for this case we had 10c1 equal to 12 for this case we had 9.8 so we'll tr now try to um, decrease 10c from 12 or 9.8 to further we'll also increase zeta since we had seen that it does the job of reducing to some extent so we'll increase zeta to 0.8 we'll keep omega in same for now now we'll uh, not choose p1 to be equal to 0 rather we'll decrease 10c from higher values to 5 and we'll get p1 accordingly so we have p1 um, and from the omega n equation we have z1 and we have chosen the value of c so again we can have the controller equation we have the plant and we do the plots so we have seen the overshoot has uh, decreased significantly but the rise time has increased um, bandwidth is more or less the same and the overshoot has decreased so we also see that the there's some correlation between overshoots and the um, m m peaks so usually we see that as the overshoots decrease the m peaks also decrease so this is um, a good aspect of reducing overshoots but our rise time has increased significantly so now we had seen that the rise time depends on the choice of omega n and zeta so if we now to um, to decrease the rise time so our first plan could be to decrease the value of zeta since we had seen that it would uh, it would increase the denominator and hence decrease the overall rise time as similarly will increase omega n since the rise time was inversely proportional to omega n so a decrease in omega n would result in decrease in um, rise time so again we choose we decrease zeta but increase omega n so zeta we take 0 0.6 omega n equal to 8.5 um, again we consider the same value of 10c that is 5 um, to make sure the overshoots are not uh, uh, much increased due to the lowering of zeta so again we substitute we get the values of p1 z1 and we have the controller and we do the plot so the purple one is the new plot and we see that um, it is a good optimum optimal solutions as compared to others so the um, rise time is is of the order 0.25 the settling time uh, we can see that the 4 by uh, 4 by 0.6 omega n would satisfy that to be uh, less than one second which was specified in the problem so that is around pointed and less than one again the uh, the bandwidth so omega n was chosen to be 8.5 which is greater than 2 pi so that is done and the m peak value has further decreased since our overshoot has decreased so again the correlation and that is less than 3 so this is a good solution we have uh, done in aspect of nominal stability and performance now we'll now for the final selection that is the purple curve and the this choice of controller we'll do the robust anal analysis that is stability and performance now we had seen that uh, there were two aspects gain margin and phase margin so first we'll work with phase margin so we plot the Bode plot for pk and we see where the mag the modulus reaches 1 or the db magnitude reaches 0 we see the phase there the we in this case the phase is minus 118 degrees and hence the phase margin is minus 180 minus of minus 118 that is 62 degrees so that is considered good in case of design and we see that uh, so the phase margin for this is 62 degrees that is considered good now the gain margin for gain margin we see where the phase reaches minus 180 degrees so in this case we don't see any uh, value where the phase reaches minus 180 so hence we say that the gain margin is infinite so this is because we can have um, any amount of deviation in plant for example if the plant can be 100 times the modeled plant so the uncertainty in plant would not make the phase reach minus 180 at any point and hence we have infinite gain so hence we have solved the first problem that is plant uh, first order plant now we'll move on to second order thank you